Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Head and Blood Right. Uh, I dragged this uh, turret gun over here before the start of the episode. And uh, it paid dividends. A lot of dead guys. But yeah, um, I just walked over just to demonstrate where I am. Like, I just walked, like, over here. It's just a little further this way, because here's, here's the opening. And then there's gates on either side. And I'd actually already been in this one, because this is just where this goes. So I just, you know, I was like, hey, we didn't go through this one, so maybe I just missed it. And it turns out that I didn't. So I'll just draw aggro, I guess. Sorry, ladies, excuse me. Right with you. Man, melee, right? Doesn't exactly work whenever you have a gun. Not to accidentally subquote American Dad there. The guns beat karate guns. Actually, apparently American Dad isn't like the worst of its type. Like, because everyone, like, Many people will walk will like mock Family Guy for being unfunny or derivative or just like having too many cutaway gags. But I've been told I have not, you know, watched enough American Dad to pass this judgment on my own. But I've been told that apparently American Dad is all right. It's okay. This looks pretty cool. A magical seal. Or or that's the kind of seal. No. That's for my wife if she's watching. It's her favorite animal. Um, so it ruins whenever, uh, any sort of, like, magical block is meant to be taken seriously. I can't wait to finish Persona 3 with her. Not that we've started Persona 3. Oh my god, is this... Yeah, that's the Earth. So I just came here a little out of order, but that's okay. Um, so I guess we just explore around here? Those crickets are loud. But yeah, I turned myself down from last episode. When uh, when when doing this like back to back to back to back, I do try to listen to them. But like sometimes if I go in like raw and I'm like, yeah, that sounds okay, and then I'm like, wait, I'm used to listening to my own voice. This actually doesn't sound that good. I'm like, ah, because the problem when I'm doing something like this is that I don't want to. Like, I don't want to just re-record stuff. Because so many of the games that I do are like... Like, what's my fresh take? What's my what's my raw, like, new experience? Like, I feel like some people go there to get that, like, raw and perfect stuff. And so missing out on that, failing that, like... Ah, uh, it's painful. It hurts. Um... So where are we going from here, then? All right, I've just checked my walkthrough. And uh, again, like, I commented on how I want to have, or like, I want this. To I want to have, like, um, breakable glass. But this glass is breakable. So I can just do that. Boy. I was just used to not having breakable glass. But yeah, I could have done that a while ago. Okay. Oh, a shovel, cool. And what I assume to be, like, pieces. What is this? Well, I have the shovel to go do that one thing. So maybe it's time to go do that. need to remember where the hell it is. Damn it. You love to see it. Wow. I almost got trolled super hard there. Hey, we got a shovel. 
Okay, good. Because I was like, where the hell am I supposed to get a shovel? I, I thought that this was like a secret where like I was just supposed to bring it from the last level. Oh, more this way. Oh, do they have unique like burn to death sprites? I'm not sure if they do. I think it's just like a, a good job on the shading. Oh, and this spits me out up here. So this is where all those guys were. I feel like that's the way to go, but... Oh, actually... Do a episode 8. Same. Nice. Clean jump. Clean living. We can tightrope it to the other side. Kind of a pain in the ass when we do it. And then this lets us shortcut it down to here. Stairs up to a ladder. Boy, that's gotta be a kick in the ass. Imagine climbing a bunch of stairs and your reward is that you get to climb a ladder. Like, just give me the ladder, bro. The crystal key. Good. The tiny nut lies on the table with my feet. So are humans, like, way smaller than the orcs? Uh, O5EX. Maybe it's an S. Ozet. 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 The last note. This should point you towards the bag's location. ET. So I turn on the basket and you'll eventually find it. That's a tender's long. I can hardly have any silence around the base. I was about to set off to the Dwarven Fortress and negotiate for the trades. As I was about to do that, I have to deal with Udra setting, stirring another fight, this time with Griva. Uh, I've discovered... They managed to crack one of the windows inside the barracks, but as I went to light discipline... Oh, we heard about that window before as well. Foreshadowing. Um, I've discovered something more worrying. A note. Hidden but beneath a shutter and an iron power written in human language. Upon reading it, my my expectations have been confirmed. My bag has been stolen. I've tasked the Reavers to search around for other such notes and, and devise a plan to ambush and wreak these rats out. I have a bad feeling about this. I know I should see to this matter myself and try to find out where my bag has been hidden, but dwarves are keen on punctuality, so I'll have to leave now. Okay. It's a closet? That'd be a pretty lame note. I thought it was like 05. Like I was saying 05 because uh, I typically never say, you know, ghetto in English. Actually, I don't say it in French either. I usually say ooh. Um. Well, this is not the French word for zero. It's Z-O. Um, but ov is the French word for egg. Like ovum. You know? Uh, and the... I think article is the word. Like the equivalent to da in French is la or le. like Los in uh, Spanish. Although they actually also have multiple arms. Um, but I digress. But because that word ends with a vowel, if you're starting another word that also has a vowel, then you just apostrophize it and write L apostrophe and then the word that starts with a vowel. So it's no, like le o. Which is a pretty cool um, thing linguistically that I actually like a lot. Far be it for me to compliment the French, but bear with me for a moment. Um, but that's why uh, a zero score in tennis is love. Like they say 30 love. You remember, we tennis. We sports tennis. Come on guys, you remember. And then this button. It's the middle button, right? I think one of those guys got telefragged. Anyway, yeah, we tennis. 
you know, a zero score is 15 love, 30 love. Because it's not love. It's not that love is worthless. If you, you know, love a French person, you might find that out to be true. That was definitely a telephrag. Um, but it's just a word that sounds almost identical to love. Because it's written the same way, and when pronounced with an American accent, you might not be able to tell the difference. I think that was friendly fire. Yep, come on out here, guys. Right along so I can kill you. Thank you for the help, turrets. Cool. I am blazing through this uh, frag fire gun. Okay, so is that everything? Oh, yeah, there's a big gem up there. Is that the ward? Because it was like, hey, do those things and then do the middle button. Like, do all these things and then do the two things and then do the middle button. So I think that's right. I think we're good. Uh, cool. I guess I'll use some more of this then. Got a bunch of bolt mags. Actually, you know, I can just check my walkthrough. Alright, I think this is the way I'm heading. That wasn't a pun, sorry. Heading. Oh, yeah, because we have the ward that shut down that one little gate that we couldn't get through. So now we can go up there. Duh. I remember... Okay, my memory was pretty good this episode. But I'm still pretty stupid. Scooch up here. Man, your motherfucking life ends the second you step out of line. Very effective. Thank you, turret. Caverns. Cool. And then the game will freeze as it saves. I wonder if it's all the extra shit that just put in here that makes it really hard. Whoa. That's pretty eerie. Oh, yeah. I saw that Um, also uh, episode four. Oh, are we going up in the mountains? I see snow. Pine trees. There's the end of the level button. Um, episode 4 was incorrectly tagged by YouTube's automatic system as Half-Life. Because this game looks like Half-Life, I guess. No secrets. Damn. Right, let's see how long that takes, people. Can I... Okay, cool. Uh, not bad. Pale wind. Have I been reading those backwards? A broad grin shaped up the warrior's face as the ward's mechanism came alive. The ground began to rumble and a gleaming white crystal emerging from underneath. Emer a, gleaming, a gleaming white crystal emerging from underneath. I guess they're just writing it poetically. Unholy pentagrams began to fizzle and blow up. The few lucky cultists who managed to teleport through it in time were swiftly butchered by the half-orc. Uh, the rest too warped as the ward unleashed itself simply died before they could even finish their interdimensional journey. Oh, they weren't getting telefragged. They were trying to teleport in, but there was a ward and they were just exploding on impact. That's funny. That's got to be a horrible cleanup, though. <laughs> Showing this lethal blow to the invaders' logistics would definitely change the tide of the assault. Zan couldn't help but wonder if Haboth was involved with her waking up so close to where this foul invasion seems to begin. Nonetheless, she was nowhere to be seen now, and there was little time to be wasted. She marched on upwards. Upwards, knowing of a dwarven fortress stopped them out and allied with the Iron Division. That was the dwarf and that was the dwarven fortress that the one girl was going to, the captain lady. Those stout warriors would surely aid her to retake Valk. Half a day later, a thick, heavy mist in the cold breath of Snow Greeter. She's getting closer to the dwarf fortress. Aw oh, yeah. Time to meet the toady ones, I guess, right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. That's cool. Something about Doom is that it has a very, very green color palette. Doom guy himself is green. And then to oppose that and look stunning and striking next to them, almost all of the enemies are shades of red. The shotgunners are red, the imps are brown, the piggies are pink, naturally. 
the mancubi are tan and peach colored. The cyber demon uh, is similarly so. Wow. Um, and then so... Because hell has to look like where the demons come from, hell has a lot of those same colors. It has a lot of those same uh, browns and reds in. Also because Doom is, I think, 32-bit and it can only have so many colors. Ice Peak Fortress. Nice. Hell yeah. Um, and also in the levels uh, on Mars, on Phobos, um, and some of the ones on Earth... You know, they want to make Doom Guy look like he fits in. And also, they want they make the demons want to stand out. They want to make the demons look like they don't fit in. So those levels also have a lot of green. What this means is that Doom is primarily a bunch of different shades of green and a bunch of different shades of red. There's a couple of blues, but, like, you'll see that, like, the potion, the super armor, maybe the mega armor. But anyway, the good armor, um, the potion, and fire blue, the wall texture all have the same, like, blue. They don't look, like, different. Oh. Um. There's a moose frozen in there. Oh, I can go down there. And a pentagram. Oh, it's a, it's a Kerberos. Oh, you can shatter it and get his drops. That's funny. That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh man that's great um okay the door didn't open I just stepped on the ice I heard that noise okay, broken bridge more forest by the looks Let's check inside then. Anyway, what I'm gonna hear is Doom has a lot of uh, brown, red, and green in its levels. Oh. Well, the hell. Never mind then. Um, so you get a lot of those same colors coming out from Doom. Oh, someone broke this. Maybe they dropped this big heavy rock on it. But yeah, so what this can mean is that, like, sometimes the levels in Doom will be very, very homogenous. They'll look very similar. Oh, we got frozen cultists as well. <laughs> Sweet. Their fire went out. That's funny. That's pretty funny. Okay, the sound bite is just pretty long. So I was like. Oh, the stone key is down there, huh? Okay. I could do this. I actually regularly take ice baths uh, now. I'm taking like four. Stone key get. Cool. Okay, I used half my air, so I should be able to make it back. Oh, and this pillar is like, hey, that's where the way out is. And you can get up get up here. Feels kind of like cheating, but that's okay. But now we can go in here. Sweet. But just to like, let's just look at these. Like brown, gray, red, gray, gray, green, gray, brown, gray, brown black, but the black stands out on purpose. Like, looking at all of these, you get a lot of very homogenous colors. And it's why I very much appreciate this. The pure white, the snow, that's pretty cool. It's a, a, a good mix-up, I feel. Uh, the last entry in the book is signed by Lancer Dendra. Journey's been a mess. Roads nearly collapse... The road's nearly entirely swallowed by snow, and many of the ice caves have collapsed. I lost my lands on a cave-in, and I would have lost a lot more if I hadn't shielded myself in time. It feels unnatural for the ground to tremble like this. 
and the dwarves normally wouldn't slack with tending to the path to their fort. Perhaps Earth Mother Ava can shed some light on what's going on. I didn't find her at home, so she must be inside her grove. I'll spend the night here and pay her an early visit tomorrow, since the dwarves are expecting me by noon. Hmm. I hope she's okay. Also, a good little piece in Antipes, because, like, they show you the monster, and then you're like, oh, cool. Oh, I can go down there. And then later when you see the key, you're like, oh, I can go down there and get it. Sweet. Okay, so I was over there. Pale Wind is the name of this. That's pretty cool. Um, another wooden plank. How many planks are we going to... How many planks are we talking about here, dude? Can I just cut down some of these trees? Nah, I guess not. I assume not. Maybe I'll be proven wrong yet. Broken pillars, columns. <laughs> hey guys. One of these times they're gonna like spring awake and surprise me. These guys were trying to watch as well. But yeah, um, also compare, like, Quake. Boy, Quake looks boring. Like, Quake is fun. It's exciting. It's pulse-pounding. A lot of good monster designs. A lot of good enemy designs. But almost all the monsters are tan, white, red, and brown. Like, I literally can't think of a single one that isn't, actually. Even in the expansion that I played. I have not played the second expansion, only the first one. Um... And, like, all the levels are, like, dark green, gray, green, brown, white, and black. Whoa. Ah, there's a little thing on the on the wall there. So where is this put me? Okay. So I'm gonna re-grab that. That's okay. I can do this faster. What else do you I wonder if they always drop the same level of, uh, the same amount of spikes. Oh, it unfroze him. That's clever. So that's the panel. Work. Okay. Um. So now what? Anyway, it's very appreciable that we get we're getting like a wide variety of things. Like the bathhouse was really cool because we got like a very nice blue. That was kind of unusual, you know, for a game like this at least. Hey, so, turns out, I'm just kind of a ninny. Well, maybe I am. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, that's on me. So you can see another one of these cyan crystals, and then this one was empty, but you can put a fresh one in. Now that said, I do kind of disagree with... One mo. I do kind of disagree... No, with um, putting quest items in front of a thing. Because <clears throat> I got the um, the key back here. But normally, like, you get a key and it opens up a new area that you can loop through backwards, almost. But uh, with the way that I've been doing this, like... I don't know. I normally like the idea of having... There we go. Um, of having, like, stuff be in the order where, like, oh, I have this. Now I can go back and get it. Also, god damn, that is a statue and a half. <laughs> so did the Ancients by Earth Mother Ava, Chapter 3, Mechanisms. I'm thoroughly impressed by the precision in which the Ancients built their contraptions. It appears the temple I'm observing has a trap meant to keep the looters away. Uh... It must have been hundreds of years since the last ancient set foot in here. But the trap still works. Luckily, I've started fire magic to protect myself from the bolts hurled at me. 
Inside of the trap, I'm researching a gate mechanism operated by the same cyan crystals we've learned how to make use of. Perhaps deciphering the nearby inscriptions will help me understand how m more on how the crystals function. I'm certain their magical power has doubled as a sort of intelligent designer force. Thankfully, the ice has preserved a lot of the temple's architecture in good shape. I cannot use my magic to melt it, lest I'll cause damage, so I'll have to break it with whatever tools I can get. I would think that melting it would... Unless the ice has worked its way into the actual, like, structure. Because then it's like... You know, it's like my first apartment. It's not that it's held together well. It's just that the termites are all holding hands, you know? Um, I guess I need a shovel for that. Do I have a shovel? I guess you break the shovel when you use it. Damn shame. Uh, I'm going to be able to get through here quick enough, right? Okay, cool. Oh, it's pretty nice in here. Ah, but we have another gray and green cave to go through. Meh. Alright, so that was at 620. What? Does that time make any sense? Maybe it's the minute? Maybe it's been two minutes since my last save? Maybe I just read it wrong. Okay, here we go. Back to the good stuff. But wait, let's just double check and make sure that there's nothing in here I didn't miss. Grapes. Okay. Something wilting. Oh. Some vine. There was something I missed. Glad I checked. A potion of stone skin. And a big ass crystal. Okay, so where does this spit me out? Oh, that's that! So that I can go back to here. Not that I know that this does anything, but... Let's see about that bridge, huh? Well, I know that we've got, like, four? Vine. <laughs> okay. You know, looking at this, I may have been able to just jump across it, but I guess that's not really in, like, the spirit of things. Game saved. Coolio. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, it was so white I didn't notice my, uh, my reticule for a moment. You know, I haven't commented on it as much, but, like, we haven't gotten a new enemy uh, in a couple of chapters. Like, several chapters, in fact. But, um, that's its own thing. We also haven't gotten a new gun in a while. What hurt me? Um, yeah, I guess that, like, you can pick up most of your guns in the first little bit and like if this was doom you can beat the first episode in like an hour and then you'll have seen everything that the game has to offer and then the next few episodes will be like a cup a couple of new things and some recyclings dropped an amulet Please fuck off. Oh god. That was messy. That really could have gone better. Oh, I think those were those guys that were trying to spy. Choker of the beast. I've got a couple of those and I don't really know what they do. Or maybe they summon a guy. Whoa, that's creepy. I just stood there and took it. That was stupid. Oh, the dog. He was protecting his master. It was like that dog at that Japanese train station. Presumably a Japanese dog. I think it's a Shiba Inu. Hachiko? Is that his name? Now we have a smaller bridge. Cool. 
Oh yeah, we can get more frag fire now. Let's reload this, and we can put a fresh thing on that. Oh man, guys, you for real. Walked into that one. Okay, now... I'm trying to thread the needle between them. Yeah, like that. Nice. <laughs> Sweet. Boy, I just let that one come right to me, huh? Oh, a potion. Good, that's what I like to see. Sorry, I'm trying to pause there while still crouching. Okay, so that one said 1630 at the top. Maybe that's the time that would make sense because the time is... Yeah, 1635. Okay, I guess it's in military time. I guess that makes sense. It is a slightly more efficient uh, way to write time. Since you never have to include a... Uh, AM and the PM. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Dead dwarf. Oh, man. I wonder if you can get more planks. I'm thinking about that bridge again. I wonder if you can, like, get more planks. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Whoa, boy. Uh, and fill in the bridge more than I than I did. Like, and if you do really good and find all the secret planks, then you have a really easy, just like, you just walk across it and there's no diggity. There's, like, nothing about it. But then again, like, just walking isn't that interesting. Oh boy. Am I safe here? Sure aren't. Because, see, I want to save just to make sure. Well, why don't we just. Okay, so there's a way to get down there. I just saved, so I want to. Well. <laughs> okay, we'll do that later. Hmm. Can I not come in? I got sacrificed. Okay, so there's this way. Ooh, good. Perfect. Much better. And then we just gotta climb. And we in there. Damn. Okay. What do we got? We just need to go a little louder than I was going. Whoops. And maybe a little slower. Where's the roar lights at? There's one. There's the other. There's a third one. Damn. That's a hard approach. I'll tell you that for free. Ooh, 
Let's see. Theoretically, good idea. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what if we just go this way, huh? Oh, cool. Let me in. Thank you. A helmet. Push to might. Cool. That gives us health regeneration. I'm not home. I'm not home. <laughs> Potion of Might might be good. Might be. We replaced our old bell bellows with a crystal-powered machine. Apprentices shall be allowed to use it to smelt metal. Place your ore or ingot in the hot hearth, and it'll melt in a moment. Once your mold fills up, we're, you're ready to work it over the anvil as you'll ever be. Turn the heat off before you clean up the hearth. Let's be brave. Okay, it's working. It's working. I'm at full health. Hot damn. Oh, he had the bow trained at the door. That's funny. <laughs> they jammed the door. How cute. Locked from the inside. Oh, is he trying to open it so I could... We could fight? Hmm. Okay. That's too bad. It's health regen. It's pretty shway. This one's locked from the inside. Whoops. So I think I, I killed a couple of them. Damn. It's difficult. really hard. Of course, I have, like, stranded myself in here. So maybe that's on me. Oh, they went away. Maybe I just gotta let my health come back. Play it safe for a little. This isn't particularly safe. But it's working. Working well. Why is she shooting at them? Did they did they start infighting? Because hell yeah, if that's the case. Okay. Still got the health potions. What 
What did I switch off my ass? Okay. Wow. Gory. Highly effective. Oh. Can't pull one on me, sister. Wow. Heard the... Saw the brewers hauling in some new furniture in the tower a year day. Walked up to Torgrind and asked him what in the hell is doing all that orcish junk. Shrugged me off. Told me it's stylish. More stylish than what we make. The next time he comes around and asks for new kegs, be sure to point at that bleeding elevator below and tell him to ask the orcs for help. Maybe they can uh, craft him some stylish ale kegs too. Wow. That worked really well. Um, that'll do the episode then. <laughs> uh, I've been after this has been head and blood right. Um, yeah, I'm just surprised that that went really well. I'm glad to have solved that problem. I'm glad to have problem solved. Use my brain. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you have a good time. Uh, bye. <laughs>